Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about receding gums and vitamin C. Receding gums is a vitamin C deficiency, so let's talk about that. Vitamin C has a lot to do with protein building, specifically collagen, and when you lose the collagen, your gums start to recede and there's too much tooth and there's not enough gum. Um, if you look at the arteries, for example, and you get a little lesion or a leaky um, space between the little cells, that's a vitamin C deficiency because you're losing the collagen junction. So vitamin C helps those cellular junctions become really, really tight. In your um, intestines, you need vitamin C to keep the, the junctions tight, prevent leaky gut. Leaky gut is normally a vitamin C deficiency. Okay, So bacteria, for example, do their uh, negative effect through proteolytic enzymes. Basically, those are enzymes to break down proteins. Vitamin C counters the effect of the proteolytic enzymes. So basically, that's why when you're sick and you take vitamin C, you get better because they reduce the toxic effect from bacteria. In fact, the white blood cell, which is your immune cell, um, has more vitamin C, it carries more vitamin C than any other cell in the body because it needs this vitamin C to protect you. So when you brush your teeth and, and you bleed easily, that is a vitamin C deficiency. They call that scurvy. There's many other symptoms with vitamin C deficiencies, but receding gums is a, a very common symptom. So how do you become vitamin C deficient? Number one, you can have high levels of insulin, like you have insulin resistance, you're a pre-diabetic, or you're an actual diabetic, or you consume a lot of junk food. That will do it right there. Or it could be that you're consuming sulfa drugs, which are antibiotics, certain antibiotics or you're just not consuming enough vitamin C from your food. So sauerkraut has the most vitamin C, fermented vegetables, vegetables in general, and also bell peppers. Um, one of my favorite um, vegetables is the bell pepper. So I get mine from the farmer's market because they're smaller, there's, they're way more nutritious, and they actually taste really good. So I'll consume like five of these in one sitting. So there's a couple other benefits of vitamin C. It also will help you uh, reduce the toxic effect of hyperthyroidism. It will also help reduce histamines. That's why it's great for the common cold. There's the sinus issues. Uh, when you're coughing, when you have allergies, vitamin C is really, really helpful. Also, vitamin C will increase the oxygen in your body. So if you're going up a flight of stairs and you get out of breath easily, you need vitamin C. So just make sure you don't consume vitamin C from a pill. Get it from food because most vitamin C supplements are synthetic. All right, thanks for watching. Hi guys. Hey, listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause, the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.